And pretty important to note that we have red flag warnings going into effect at 10 a.m. So you're waking up to generally calm and quiet conditions, mild temperatures outside your front door. But once we get close to the lunch hour, winds begin to howl across southern Colorado. You can see most of the viewing area under this red flag warning, the high fire danger threat from 10 a.m. until 6 o'clock tonight. Right now, the strongest winds down across parts of the Wet Mountain Valley, the southern I-25 corridor, southeastern plains. Few spots there currently gusting up around 20 to 30 miles per hour. And much like what I've been saying this past week, anytime there's wind present, especially in the morning hours, it doesn't allow for good radiational cooling. So it keeps those morning temperatures on the more mild side. Case in point, Rye, you're at 51 degrees. It's late February. Calendar might say otherwise, though, based on those temperatures. 34 in Pueblo, 44 in the Springs, 41 in Monument. Airflow is going from west to east this morning, and that leads to upslope snow showers in the mountain areas. But that downslope wind, that's going to be the big story here, along with that high fire danger. So let's put the Futurecast wind gust product into motion. I would say anytime after about 9 to 10, the wind speeds begin to ramp up. And around the lunch hours, seeing some really strong wind, especially down into southern parts of the coverage area. That's where we could see some of those gusts north of 40 miles per hour. Our gust here in the Pikes Peak region probably in the ballpark of 30 to 35 miles per hour in most areas with a general weakening of the wind as we head past sunset tonight. So looking good for the school day forecast. Of course, the wind is going to be a nuisance for the kids, especially as the bell rings around 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon. But at least temperatures are nice and comfortable topping out in the mid 60s. Now we are tracking a cold front late tonight. That'll bring in a brief burst of strong north winds probably gusting late this evening around 25 to 35 miles per hour and that north flow could lead to a few overnight lightly scattered snow showers up towards the Palmer Divide and then as I've been saying all week the potential for maybe a few isolated rain and snow showers here in southern Colorado tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening fairly dry system so impacts I suspect will be on the small side 70 today in Pueblo 73 in La Junta 64 in the Springs another unseasonably mild day here locally with high fire danger the other big story now behind the cold front tonight we have that mix of rain and snow showers now they're only up around 30%, probably best opportunity late afternoon to early evening. We warm things back up with increasing wind as we look ahead towards the weekend and early next week. In Pueblo, about a 20% chance of a passing shower tomorrow afternoon, dropping down to the 50s Thursday to Friday, but could be up near 70 again by Sunday. Canyon City cooling down a little unsettled Wednesday to Thursday after the warm day today will be at 52 tomorrow. Back to the 60s beginning on Saturday and for Woodland Park windy today. Some light snow with a high of 39 on Thursday and then we're back to breezy and 50s by the upcoming weekend.